Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello once again everyone, it is day 60 here and we are going to be jumping straight back into another raid, ramping up the difficulty even further here. Going to go for a level 50 invocation today and for those who are less educated on the invocation system, I'm going to give you a very quick breakdown right now. Effectively, the Tombs of a Mask allows you to control the difficulty of your raid by choosing specific modifiers that apply to the enemies of the raid and change the way the mechanics work ever so slightly and often make them much more difficult and as a result you get extra rewards at the end of it or extra reward potential at least and it works based on a points based system so each different invocation has a different amount of points that you get from enabling it and we're trying to get up to 150 invocation level to complete a normal so i'm going to jump up to a 50 and i've just got a list of the invocations here that i feel comfortable with personally i've got a couple of presets that i think i'm going to go with so today we're going to be attempting this level 51 and then if it all goes well tomorrow we'll do the 100 and if that all goes well day after we'll try 150 i don't think it is all going to go well and i'll explain why in just a second but that's the plan anyway the progression plan from here. So, level 50 is a soft call run, which means we get a maximum of three lives. That shouldn't be an issue. I'm hoping we won't die anyway. Lively lava increases the amount of uh, tiny little flying scarabs in Kepri's room, so it's basically free because we just have our range prior up for those anyway. Uh, this is only worth five points though, so this together with soft core run puts us on 20. Blowing mud is completely free in a solo encounter because it has no effect, it's just 10 free points. Makes the, the mud target an additional player when it comes out, but that does nothing in a solo. Shaking things up is in Barbar's room and that makes his shockwave attacks go one extra tile which I actually prefer because it means you have more time to react because of the way that his attack comes out. So I actually think this is a beneficial one even though it does make the attack larger. It makes it slower as well so you get a little bit extra time to react. And then Overclocked 1 is going to make the very final phase of Wardens where it does the slam attack on the floor doing half the arena then the other half then the middle. That is going to be one tick faster each time. Now in addition to all these differences every five invocation levels is going to increase every enemy in the raid by 2%. What is it going to increase? Everything. Attack, defense, damage, health, all of it. They get plus 2% per 5 levels. So having 50 levels here is going to add 20% to all of that for every enemy in the raid. And that is where a lot of the difficulty is going to come from here for us in getting this done on time. Because yesterday we had 13 minutes left on the clock. Let's say today everything goes smoothly, we don't have any mishaps, and we manage to get to the end of the raid. I will be gobsmacked if we've still got 13 minutes on the clock. I think it'll be a lower number it should theoretically take us 20 percent longer right so it's gonna as we ramp up here become more and more difficult for us to finish in the time limit and that's one of the reasons we may end up having to leave we'll just have to see but yeah enough nattering let's get on into it i'm excited i'm excited for this level 50 it should be doable but we never know until we get on in there and we got ancients today which is a nice benefit all right the clock has started we are gonna make ourselves a party go to our invocations tab on enable softcore run we're gonna want to go down to 
lively lava and blowing mud and then we want shaking things up which is a bit further down and overclocked one that is a 50 point invocation in fact we may as well just save it as a preset why not and there we go time to pre-pop set that to draw one out and yeah we may as well pre-pot with ranged as well in fact i'm gonna set these all to shift click drink and eat because it's gonna be necessary for me as we uh get into the difficult level roads okay exciting so i'll try and point out any of the changes that came in as and when we encounter them but for the most part today is going to be just another attempt so what have we got here i've never actually used this thing before is it I feel like it's going to take me longer to do it that way because I don't understand what this is. So let me just do it. And then when there's one left, you can flip it over at the cost of 20 HP. No! I thought I had it. Middle, bottom, top, left. And then this one. Perfect. Second try. Not perfect, but we'll take it. Star with diamond boot star. Diamond boot. Which means I don't know these two all do. No. Okay, much smoother puzzle room than yesterday at least. Did still lose some hit points, but it's fine. Oh, and then one thing I wanted to do is just make sure my blowpipe's back on rapid rather than long range. And then we are geared up, ready to go. Is this on quick use? Let me change that as well. You'll have to do that in every room. So far, so good. Not that much tougher to kill. At least I'm like, I'm thinking about the de like defense and HP. It doesn't seem to be too many zeros. Ever so slightly lower DPS, but not too bad. We did get, we didn't get two phases in the first time, so it is slower. We only had one attack. Oh fuck! I need to drop. So yeah, we've got extra Agile Scarabs hitting us because of one of those invocations that we turned on. But it doesn't make a difference. Either way, we would be brain ranged here, so... Oh, I did the thing wrong. Fuck. I meant to do it on this side. Oh, that doesn't cost me too much. I'm actually going to prepare for the Mage Phase, seeing as though I missed that wall by just running around here. Okay... Then we'll have a bit of time before the melee gets to us at least. Well, we're not hitting very well on this mage though. There we go. Uh, I feel like we should probably be on mage here for this one. In fact, why don't we just get a couple of barrages in? We're missing like all the scarabs here, but that's fine. Okay, I don't think this is working. I'm just going to all oh, attack it to death now, please. Finally. Jeez, that was slow. Should be good from here. Did eat two manta rays though. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. I don't know what happened there. I clicked. It didn't move. My auto is not on, is it? No. What the I don't know what the I don't know how that looked to y'all on camera. For me it was bad. Cause I I clicked and then didn't move. Okay, definitely tougher than yesterday, obviously. So we've gone through actual supplies in this room today. Maybe I'm playing badly as well. I feel like I also got a bit screwed there on some lag or something. It's worth noting we also brought two less manners because of the ancients, so... I don't know if that's going to bite us or not. We're almost there. There we go. Right, Kepri down. Slower than yesterday. More resources used than yesterday, but... I need to swap his to proceed as well. Okay, on to Zebak. Hopefully this one is not quite as nasty in comparison. And we can freeze the croc today, so hopefully we should only have to get two of these water buckets filled up. There it is. You never know where it's going to spawn. Got him. More do spawn as it goes on, but as long as you get that first one, it's enough time to get to the waterfall and back, which should mean we get a nice, clean room here. Never mind. I guess I ran out of range, so the freeze stopped. Oh no. I ran too far away. If it hadn't spawned in this corner, we would have been okay. If it had spawned, like, up here, we would have been fine there. I think we should still be okay here, though. With the 50, we should get it in time. Yeah, okay. Not quite as clean as you would hope, but 
is what it is. I'm just going to slightly reorganize things here. Range port. Got our blowpipe ready to go. We are set. Let's go. Hopefully we actually get some rubies today. Set this to quick use. Not the shift click, the normal. Come on. Big ruby specs. Humongous ruby specs. Any ruby specs. A ruby spec? Yes! It worked! All you have to do is complain for long enough and the game listens. Why did I go for this? What an absolute piss take. Did I just miss entirely? Oh shit. I'm in trouble. Okay, well that wasn't good. Another ruby is though. Hello. Okay, I'm just gonna brew up a little here during this phase. I wanna stay safe. Using a lot of supplies though. Just three brews left for food. And we've got Akka and Baba and the monkey room still. It's not good. It's not good at all. Much cleaner rock phase. You might have seen a couple of times a blood attack has come out and it hit me as well. That is one of the... Well, that's basically all the buffs we give to Zebak. He, he gets blood attacks and then he powers up his blood attacks with each extra invocation. The other one, like, increases the size that the acid pools are and decreases the amount that you clean up with a jug. So we don't want that. I've never done that. And we're in the final phase here, looks like. Get a couple of specs in. Uh, these darts are lacking a bit more. We might want some dragon darts for as we level up the road level here. Okay, Zebak down. Again, slightly slow, but it was clean kill for the most part, other than that one part. Oh, that chaos is tempting. That chaos is way too tempting. We only need one liquid adrenaline, but I really would like an extra salt. Having just one salt dose for the rest of the to tombs is going to be tough. That chaos is really tempting though with the amount of supplies we've used. Oh fuck. Three brews enough to get through the rest. I'm going to play it safe. Take the power. I know that probably doesn't sound like the safe play, but I don't want to run out of salts. That would be the worst thing. We've got bloods. We can get a bit of extra healing as we need to. We don't have an ancient staff to auto cast them, but we can manual cast, it's fine. Well, this room should be cleaner today at least because I don't have to worry about all my weird setup. I keep getting some weird delay there. It happened again there. At least it wasn't in a, a tough spot this time, but there was a, a weird bit of input delay there. I wonder if I'm on a bad server that it keeps spiking or something. And now because we have a surplus of salts, we can use them in this room too to get some extra energy because we had six doses. Honestly, three is three is enough, but you never get three because it comes in half. So, because you get each smelling salts gives two doses. We need three doses, which means we need two full smelling salts basically, and then two doses of liquid adrenaline is one portion as well. So. Well, that smooth shadow dodging. I should have broke this barrier before setting up the rest, but clean. Wait, we actually got it to 65. No way we two phase it. I haven't even two phased it on my main. Yeah, you fucking cunt on 4 HP, mate. Game devs hears. Not liking already being on 50 HP. Those two shadows that hit me during the last mining phase couldn't really be avoided. Just run directly in the line of fire. Good job, pathing. Wow, I feel like we're so light on supplies. This is sketchy as fuck, isn't it? Hey, ay ay. All right, let's get our liquid adrenaline out of the pouch ahead of time today, because we do want it. And I'm not gonna brew up. I'm gonna try and blood blitz up, I guess, because we've got access to blitz. All right. Oh, I need to set that door. Quick use. Oh, here we go. Lovely, I can't believe we maxed it there, 26. Okay, now things are feeling a bit better again. 
If I can just blood blitz the mage phases here, I should be able to get away with not using much in this room, except for maybe during comm phase or if I make any mistakes of memory games. Just in time there before the thing filled up. Did take a bit longer to kill that shadow. Switching gear between the steps here. Fortunately, we can't spec for the heal because we need to save our spec for the very final phase. You don't want to go in there with any less than full. Okay, we're back on a mage phase, which means we can load a bit. I don't miss my clicks. All my attacks. Yeah, we might end up wanting to brew up before come phase. Like on the edge of it, but... Oh, I didn't have my arrows on. No wonder I wasn't hitting very well. It's gonna change again soon. And there it is. We don't have to hit the shadows of the same style that we're hitting Akka with, but may as well while I'm just sat there hitting one switch over to the correct style, so I'm already on it for when Akka comes back up. We should get another few bloods in in his last little portion here. Nice round of a circle. Back over here, get one auto attack off while I'm switching and then try and heal up. Okay, that didn't last long. Where are the heals, man? Oh, he switched again. We want our melee on now. Yeah, we're going to want to brew up when the phase goes down because I don't want to risk being low and getting clapped by cum balls. No, I didn't. Okay, I didn't use Liquid Adrenaline, but I also didn't use Spec, and I did just get clapped by two balls. There we go. Okay, I used three Brew Doses there, which leaves us with a bit still. We've got two- we don't really generally tend to need too much in Barbar. Bar. It's mainly this room that can be a pain, but hopefully with those bloods will be okay. We're going to want our blowpipe for the most part, but we will want some other tools as well. And then we want this up here, this up here. We don't need... Well, we've got extra. We could use a liquid adrenaline. And the salts have run out, so I'm going to salts. In fact, we've still got liquid adrenaline, so we're in the next minute. We can get a blowpipe spec at a reduced rate. Oh, just off of max it. I don't really want to waste the spec though going into bar bar after. So I'll wait till I take a bit of damage if anything. I wonder if I had the legs on if I'd be able to one shot those. Oh no, I'm not one shotting the range. Just all the mages. I guess I wasn't anywhere though, right? What are you doing, James? What are you actually doing? Okay, I'm gonna skip that. Bang. I need some heals. Can you use the spec? Can you use another? worth choosing some barrages to heal up a bit just allow myself to chill the amount of curse baboons right now is ridiculous is this it oh wow that went way smoother than i thought holy shit Okay, I think I should probably heal up because we can't really use bloods here. And then just send it. Wish me luck, folks. Uh, all we've got going on in this room is that his shockwave is wider, but you'll see what I mean by that it's slower as well. There you see. It's absolutely massive now, but it takes a while for it to spread out. I mean, I still got hit by it because I'm an absolute scrub lord, but it's besides the point really, isn't it? Right, we are going to swap to our crossbow this time because I remember that that makes it one hit. And then we can just run right up here. Isn't that lovely? No, we can't because we're an idiot. Please don't happen again. Thank fuck. Oh, I was going to get hit again then. Right, I'm going to pop my liquid adrenaline and use some fucking specs here. I would like some health, please. super careful because I don't want to make another mistake. Clean, Baba. Alright. 
The first two rooms felt kind of rough, but it, the last two we've we've done well in. Still got a brew left, which we won't need because we've got a shit ton of resources here. Like, look at all this now. See, I would have had to take the chaos if I'd have taken the chaos last time, which would have meant a lot less prayer overall because there weren't many of these in the last one either. But I would have had to for these smelling salts. So now we get to take life and we may as well just brew over with Wanders. Put everything away that we don't need. And we don't need runes. Can we put them away? No, I didn't think so. And then we want to sort our inventory out a bit. Can't figure out how I like this. Ay ay ay. There we go, that'll do. Okay, no more time to waste. Now, the second phase of Wardens was probably where I struggled most yesterday, so fingers crossed it doesn't go quite as bad today. We're gonna re-salt and then put our salts away because I want an invent space. And we're gonna change him to begin. Whoa! That'll do me. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna down this thing before the orb hits us. I'd be very surprised. So we're gonna take some unavoidable damage from this one and more than likely from this one as well, unfortunately. And then it's gonna go back into its other phases of attacks once it charges up again, which will happen almost instantly. Not much we can do there other than apply a bandage and eat it. As in eat the damage, not eat the bandage. Although I think I did say that in yesterday's video. Well, it's RuneScape. Healing gets eat in. Everyone knows that. Please don't give me another twat. He's gonna slap me again now. Come on, please. 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 It's not enough. Hopefully I can avoid this one at least. Dodge this one, not the other one. Okay, we're gonna go back onto long range just for this portion of the fight. Make sure we've got plenty of health and crack a scarab as well, so I don't have to pay as much attention to that. Blue one turns your prayer off. It's not always that blue orb that turns your prayer off. There's three different attacks that it turns your prayer off, and that is the magical one. There's a melee one, which looks like a sword flying at you, and then a fancy arrow rather than a skull for the other two. Almost there. There's the sword flying at us. And we are into spec phase. That was terrible. I'm so slow on that. I feel like I'm gonna get robbed of this one. Ooh, we got half of it off. It's kind of annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna do both of these so that I don't have to worry about it quite as much. I think we've got more in the pouch to draw out before the final phase, although I'm not 100%. Ooh, that was a nasty hit. Totally did not see that that spec was coming. We timed the run correctly today. Yes, we can. Did take a melee hit just there as I got a little too close to him when his attack came around, but that's okay. We're doing fine so far. This is a lot cleaner than yesterday's attempt at the same room. And we're actually doing pretty good on time overall as well. I'm surprised, but should be another three phaser here. Pretty standard for me. I'm used to three phases most times when I do this on any account. And then we're back on to range. He only starts doing this after the health's down a bit further, but it's it's like a root. It roots you in place and it hits hard as well, so you want to dodge that when you see him fire out like... I don't know, it looks like a line of rocks. That. <laughs> you want to dodge that. Oh, what a nasty place to take an unnecessary hit. Alright, our spec cost has returned. I'm going to drink another adrenaline because may as well. We don't have any other use for it. Unfortunately, our stats were drained for two of those specs. So they did not hit very hard, but we should be able to get it down here anyway. It stays down slightly longer each time as well, which is nice. Okay, we don't have any extra... Bandages or scarabs, those were all we had, so we are going to have to make do. And I'm just going to make sure that this is back on rapid, because I didn't yesterday. And I should have. 
And then we're going to want the blowpipe up here. We're going to want this up here. And we'll just heal up before we start DPSing. The reason we just take a minute to chill here is because she is going to chill as long as we do. Nothing else is going to happen other than the floor attack. So gives us a chance to just organize our inventory and get set up a bit better. And you can see, thanks to Overclocked One, she is attacking faster now. Attack speed of six ticks. We have an attack speed of five ticks with our crossbow. So we should still be able to get one attack in at each location without too much trouble. When you have Overclock 2 on, you can always get an attack in with the crossbow because she'll have an attack speed of four ticks. That's something we're gonna have to come to deal with later on. It's not something I've encountered personally because I actually just use a buffer for this. But we may have to try the blowpipe or something. Not right now though. Salt's about to run out, just gonna preemptively top up we got another eight minutes there should be more than enough to get this done okay Aka spawns in we put our range prayer up he always starts on that one no rubies yet but we did have the one against their back so or two i don't feel like i'm owed any as much but yeah really the ruby rates have been incredibly low like we'd be very unlucky with our uh bolt procs in both of the raids so far this is pretty chill though. Actually, don't mind this fight at all. Nice little zigzag there. The nice thing is, you're moving around in this room anyway, so it's rare that you actually have to dodge Kepra's attacks, because most of the time you're on your toes. And yeah, I'm gonna switch over to the blowpipe. Not much point in using those rubies anymore. Did actually take a hit there on the last portion, so I'm gonna brew up. Oh, and. Got hit by thingy majiggy. Oh no, I'm moving badly all of a sudden. What's going on? Okay, we're good. I actually get two attacks in each time here. As long as I'm careful of Capri. Don't know why the music stops as well, it's really unnerving. Gonna have an Ambrosia, we got four doses, we may as well. Gives you a full heal, full prayer, cures everything. And there's no more to do after this, so. This is going a bit slower than I remember yesterday's. Oh my gosh, this last little bit. I don't think I've ever seen the floor so bare. Woo! Moving on up! I don't know what that task that is. Maybe doing one at a higher vacation level? I don't know. Okay, so we were slower by three minutes. Even though we got the same amount of time on the clock. I guess I spent more time outside the raid at the start of yesterday, maybe? But yeah, three minutes difference there between the times. So even though this is saying the same, our times are our different. I guess yes, like I say, I must have spent more time before going into the raid or something. Anyway, we got it done. Again, it wasn't that bad. We've still got a decent amount of supplies left. The first half was looking a bit sketchy, but like we still got all this and you know, I was spamming those umbrellas here at the end because why the hell not? But of course we didn't get a purple light here. We might just get a gem, who knows? Ooh, the Eye of the Corruptor. Not an interesting one, unfortunately. There's not much you can do with that, really. But nice to have an extra unique on the account. And we can take this cache of runes as well, which will be very nice, I imagine. Put the rest in the bank for now and get out of here with Wasmington. And we're going to open this cache up. That is a l that was 1100 wasn't it yeah 1100 death runes not bad at all 200k definitely not complaining about that okay i think because i got 10 minutes i want to go get some dragon darts we don't need this blood back anymore do we can sell that yeah that's pricey but i think it'll be worth it blood pipe just felt not a hundred percent 
what we'd like it to be in there. I mean, I'd love to upgrade my range gear as well, but the next best thing would be Armadil, which isn't affordable, unfortunately. We can unload this and put the darts in it. Okay. Guess we'll keep hold of these for now, but we'll sell the rune darts. Did I already sell the rune darts? Yes, I did. And my prayer seems to be draining pretty fast. Is there all I could do about that? I mean, I could go get some prayer levels. Is that a good idea? It's quick. How much are lava dragon bones? That is a lot. How much are regular dragon bones? That's a lot. That's superiors. That is definitely a lot. Dagonal? Yeesh! Everything's expensive. Wyvern, maybe? That's not too bad. If they buy. Drake is also not bad. If the price is good. That's not too bad. Mm, we're not really getting any bones here, folks. Is there any of where I could improve my prayer? On the setup. I could take Verax rather than Obsidian. I mean, less strength for comparison time. Yeah, that Verax is going to be way better. Plus four prayer bonus and it's better defensive bonuses for whatever that matters. The melee strength's minus one, but who gives a fuck? We will definitely get that in there instead of that. And we'll tag it with a star and then we will make sure it's on colour as well. Okay, do we want to upgrade the top? Don't know if Ferrak's body gives prayer bonus. It also gives plus five. I might grab that as well. It's cheap. Minus three strength. It is going to take our max hit down, but I feel like that prayer bonus is worth it. That was just the one thing that I was feeling we were suffering most on in there. Is our prayer kept going down so fast. I mean, I didn't use all my prayer still by the same token, but... I don't know, I feel like it's worth trying this out. Though this is not the best defensively either, is it? Maybe the brassard's a mistake, but I think the play skirt's correct. Anyway, we used most of our time there, so let's get on over back to the venue and get our invocation set up for tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll be adding more of Zebax into the equation. So we'd had not just a head on. Wait, did we not have not just a head on? Oh, we didn't have any Zebax stuff on in there. We didn't give him blood spells. Never mind. I thought we had. So tomorrow he's getting blood spells. Zebax getting blood spells. And Baba will get a little more difficult. The sarcophagi that shoot like little red balls at you will hit us harder, depending on how much prayer we have remaining. So that we don't generally get hit a lot by them anyway, so that should be fine. And mind the gap means that the big hole in the middle of the room at the bottom is lethal. So you have to stay at the sides, which you probably noticed I do most of the time anyway, because I'm just used to playing with Mind the Gap. So those should be not too bad. And we'll get on all of those now. Make a party. Put on, got to have faith, Mind the Gap, and all three of Zebax extras. That will be our entry level 100. Because we had it up last, it should remember that tomorrow. So when I click make party tomorrow, it should be set to that 100. And um, let's see if we can gear up real quick. And there you have it, folks. 50 is down. Tomorrow, we try and take on 100. And if that goes just as smoothly, we will move straight onto 150s the day after. We will only have to wait and see until I am allowed to play the game again, because as always, this is still one hour limit locked, motherfuckers! One hour a day, and then we have to hit that lockout button. I hope you all continue to enjoy. We're getting towards the finish here, apparently. I thought we'd have a while to go yet, still, but today was good. Hopefully tomorrow goes just as well. 150 is where things will start to get a little more sketchy, I think. I mean, things will get a little more sketchy every time, but 150 is... Is gonna be a, a tough boundary to crack at, I, I believe, because like I say, I struggle with those on my main still. Anyway, leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have, tell a friend. Why not? I'm sure you have friends that will find me entertaining. Yeah, actually, I'm not so sure about that. But tell a friend anyway. And until next time, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another. See you on the next one.